Did you guys know that Trend Networks makes a new thermal stripper? Guess what I'm going to show you today. A thermal stripper strips colored buffer coating off of ribbon or single stranded fibers instead of using fiber stripper. This one does it with heat so you don't have to nick or score or break the fibers when stripping. A very bad thing when you have short cable and a short length. This tool will make it so it can strip the coating off and not score or break the fiber. Let's unbox it, go over the unit, then head into a demo and see how to use it. Nice, easy to read color instructions. One page, double-sided, soft but hard case, cleaning brush, some more information. We have a certificate with the serial number of the device, and it says pass. Good to know. Power adapter, 12 volts at 3 amps. All the different country adapters or plugs that we go on to this. Looks like we got four of them. And they don't say the names on them, but I'm sure all of them are included. This is the one that we need. It just goes on like this. Comes off, pressing the button in, done. And, ooh, the unit itself. Ooh, it's kind of heavy too. There we got temperature, power, input for the charging, our serial number on the bottom. This is where we put our fiber on top of its cleaver. And if we open it up, we get our access material will build up here and the fibers will go along here. In here we have a blade and a heater. And we have our fiber clamp, I have one beside me here, that drops in here like this when we put our fiber in there. Comes out like that. Our fiber goes in there and then it just drops in there and it's perfectly seated for it to work. Then we would close it let it warm up by pushing these two and then separate it. I'll give you a demo soon. We have the Trend Networks Cleaver, Trend Networks Fusion Splicer, the S60, and now we have the new Strip Thermal to try this. Let's do a demo. We'll turn this guy on. We'll turn this guy on. As this is turning on, we have a piece of single mode fiber, 250 micron, with a 60 mil sleeve for protection. And our unit is already pre set up because I've been stripping and fibering and doing this kind of stuff before, but let's try this. So we need a clamp, which is compatible with this. We take our fiber, remember to keep a couple of mils out of the end. That should be plenty. Put it in here, okay. Put it in here, and there's a magnet in here. It will grab it, just like that, okay. Go like this, hold it like this, squeeze, pull apart, and it's done. Now we can take this out of here, put it in our cleaver, and this will cut it perfectly because we're using the um, clamps. So place it in there, push it all the way forward. Close this, push it forward. Our fiber is out, so we'll just push that into the bin there. Okay, pull this out. Push this and put it inside of our fusion spacer here. Done, now let's do the other side, but we move along. You'll probably notice down here, there's some 
residue from the fiber. So what you want to do is just press that out of the way, make a mess on our desk. Doesn't really matter. We'll take this guy, get it ready, put it into the other clamp, make sure we have some sticking out. Doesn't look like we have enough. So a little bit more, close our clamp, repeat, make sure that's closed. Close these, squeeze a little. You don't have to put too much pressure, just enough. Lights green, pull it apart, and we're set. Same thing, put it in the cleaver, push it all the way forward so it stops. Close, cleave, pull this out. We have our piece of scrap here. We'll just put it into the bin, close this, put it over here. Put these in, these line up automatically perfectly for us. Just drops in there and we should be able to close this and it should cleave or fusion slice. Set. Yes, we have. Go. And there we go. 0 0.01 dB. We can open up our heater. Push this all the way around. Pull up our open. Pull these out. Center this, put it in our oven, close, heat. Oh, got to close my clamps. Wait for the heat to be done and done. Now I did put the piece on the back, but we'll just pull it out like this, and put it right there. And there we go. Perfect example how to use this guy right here. Pretty easy device to use. It's got a nice lithium ion battery in it. And I think it does about 600 strips per charge, depending on how long the strips are and what they are. If it's a single strand or ribbon. Now I couldn't find ribbon clamps for this on the website, but if you use Google, you might be able to find the compatible ones for this device. And I did look on their website to see if they have them, but they're not there. That was my video. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, I do have to send the device back, but it was a pleasure using it and playing with it and learning it. And uh, yeah, so whoever buys one, you guys will probably like it too. Have a good day.